Hey guys, welcome back to another Swift tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to change the line spacing in Swift uh, for a UI label. So basically the line spacing is just the space in between uh, two lines in a label. So if I just create a quick label here and I'll just show you guys what the default line spacing is. Um, we'll just say this to be hello world and actually we also need to uh, do slash and hello. Oh, actually, I've got a better idea. I'll just do hello and slash and world, and that should make it two lines, unless I'm doing something wrong. Uh, or I can just set it with text so that it actually works. Uh, so we'll just create that. Oh, <laughs> I spelled it wrong. So if I just Create a label and then I just do that. What have I done? Okay, okay, that's the right thing. And now what we have to do is just set the text to hello world, like so. Alright, and this should show you guys the default line spacing. Um, hopefully, that slash n works. Oh, why has that not happened? Have I got to change the... Oh yeah, we have to change the lines to zero. That just means it's infinite lines. So now it should work. Yep, so hello world. And uh, I'll just make the line in the center. But you can see that is the default line spacing in between the two lines. So you can see it's quite small. And you, if you have large text, you might, might want it to be bigger, even though it does change dynamically. But for some reason, you might want this space in between to be bigger. So what we can do to do that is we're going to have to use a attributed string, and we're also going to have to create a paragraph. So if we just create a uh, paragraph like that, and this can be an NS mutable uh, paragraph style, and then we can change the line spacing in this. So this is where we set the line spacing. Um, let's just say we do 30.0. Next, we have to create the attributed string. So to do that, we just do ns mutable attributed string, and we set the string to let's just set it to hello world. The same thing, and then we also have to add the attribute of this um, of this. Uh, what's it called? This paragraph. So this can be ns attributed string dot key dot paragraph style and for the range. Um, oh, I also need to have a value. So if I do that and value range like so so for the value what we need to do is we just set it to paragraphs uh, and then for the um, range extra argument value and call uh, what have I done wrong here hmm uh, I'm not actually sure oh I know what I've done wrong uh, I've done add attributes instead of attribute, so it should only be one since we're only adding one attribute. And then finally, for the range, we can just set it to be the whole string, which is just range um, make oh ns make range um, zero, and then attribute string dot length. All right, and finally. We can just set this label's text to the attributed string. So we do label dot attributed text is equal to attributed string. If we just comment this out and run this, we should get our um, label with a customized uh, customized line space. So you can see here we set it to 30, and if we wanted to make it a bit bigger, so let's say we made it a hundred. And it needs to be a float, which is why I'm putting a dot zero at the end. But if we made a hundred, you can see the space actually gets much larger. 
and if I make this zero then you'll see the words will be right on top of each other so yeah I think there's a limit on how small this can get but you can see it gets much smaller if we make it 300 that will reach the whole page I believe or no yeah but you can see there's a huge gap in between so yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in a future tutorial this is how you change the line spacing of a UI label